going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. It's ratings week for Mutt 25, and all week we're going to be going over the top 10 players at each positional group. We start today with offensive linemen. I know it's a bit boring, but here is the full schedule for everything that you can expect. And as AEA puts out these lists and the players and all the attributes that come along with it, we will be dropping videos all week long. So if you're new here, you're hype about Madden 25. 25 ultimate team make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so again we start with offensive linemen we got defensive tackles and defense events coming up later today and we're going to go in order from top to bottom the real interesting thing is that we are capped out at 84 overalls which means we're probably going to see everything else for every other position follow suit which also means that it's going to be a little bit more of a slower progression in overalls we pretty much saw this with college football ultimate team as well so we're starting the year out with lower overall cards which could also uh, impact rookie premieres we might only see rookie premieres be at 84 overalls as well but let's go ahead and go through the list and we're going to start at number one which is going to be trent williams 84 overall left tackle definitely going to be the best in the game and the four primary things that i look at when it comes to offensive linemen are going to be strength awareness pass block run block the other attributes certainly matter but those are like the four the first four that i look at and strength is really important i think under rated so uh they gave him 84 strength 84 awareness is really good 84 run block and 81 pass block for the most part really well balanced out there and you're probably going to see these cards on the offensive line especially the best one at each position be fairly expensive to start out the year and this is why you want to focus on some budget pickups and of course when the game comes out we'll hit you with all the best budget options at every single position um but you don't want to overspend on the offensive line at the end of the day this early in the game leave that for all the competitive players and the money spenders uh but of course we're going through the top 10 so you're going to be looking at them anyway next one up is going to be left guard joe tooney and i already see the 79 strength and it kind of annoys me like Again, I personally think that's a really, really important attribute when it comes to the offensive line. I love the 85 pass block, 82 run block, 84 awareness, but on an 84 overall card, which is the max for only a 79 strength, not really a fan, so I would not overspend on this one. Number three on our list is going to be right tackle, so he'd be the opposite of Trent Williams here. It's Panay Swell. Many think he's the best tackle in the NFL. I might agree there. He had a really good year last year. The whole Lions offensive line is extremely good. They gave him 81 strength, 83 awareness, 83 pass block, 84 run block. Pretty similar card to Trent Williams, but at right tackle and his pass block's a little bit better out there and his strength is going to be a little bit lower. Uh, another 84 overall right guard this time is going to be Zach Martin, 82 strength, 85 awareness, 84 run block, 84 pass block. You know I'm a certified cowboy hater. I'm going to throw my shots and jabs anytime I can, but this is a pretty well-balanced guard at right guard. I mean, he obviously won't be on my team but he's going to be the best right guard to start out the year uh, and then we move over to the final 84 on our list it's going to be Frank Ragnow another Detroit Lion player here on the O-line 82 strength 84 awareness 83 pass block and 84 run block very well balanced again here you just want to see those core four attributes all pretty similar to each other and I think they did a good job on this Ragnow card of doing that and if you look at like the pass block power uh, run block power run block footwork those are all really good on this card as well halfway through our list we're going to drop one in lower overall and we have Quentin Nelson at left guard 83 overall with 82 strength 83 awareness 83 pass block and 83 run block but again, I really like the balance here. Compared to the Joe Tooney that we saw at number two, I'm taking this Quentin Nelson card all day. Now, I can't see all of their heights and weights, and I could look them up, of course, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I do just want to point out, that's another thing that's really important to take a look at. The more space they take up on the virtual football field, uh, the better for offensive linemen in particular. So I like this Quentin Nelson as the best left guard to start out the year, despite him being a minus one overall. Uh, Creed Humphrey really good card he's not going to be better than Frank Ragnow though with the 79 strength 83 awareness 83 pass block 84 run block he's going to be the second center in the game or second best center in the game to start out the year and boy just going through this list 
is making me a little sad to not see Jason Kelsey. But Eagles fans, we do have Lane Johnson over at right tackle. They did him dirty with the strength, 75 strength. He's more so known for his speed, and we can't see, see, see speed on this graphic here. It's also, to me, not extremely important when it comes to the offensive line. So this is a card because of that very, very low strength that I would probably stay away from. 83 awareness, 82 pass block, 83 run block, very good. But 75 strength is pretty bad. We have another tackle with low strength here. New York Jets legend Tyron Smith, only 77 strength on his card. 83 awareness, 83 pass block, and 80 run block. Not the greatest card by any means. And then the final of our top 10 offensive linemen in the game is going to be out of Atlanta. 83 overall, Chris Lindstrom. Another right guard here. I think he's, what, the third one or is he the second? No, he's the second one on our list with the first one being Zach Martin, which I think just comparing the two is probably still the better card. Uh, but Chris Lindstrom does give you the 80 strength, 84 awareness, 81 pass block, and really high run block at 84. And here is a list with all 10 on the screen there. Uh, let me know what players got snubbed. Who should have been on this list that you don't see? Leave it down below in the comment section. Uh, but there you have it. Those are going to be your top 10 offensive linemen to start out the Mutt 25 year. And like I said, all week we'll be dropping more videos going over the players. We got a boring one out of the way, but look for defensive events and defensive tackles later today. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.